the day to day the shit change But you know for the most part nothing ain't different Sometimes be stuck in my ways weekend Sit up in somebody's kitchen Stick in my hand I'm chillin' with the troops in my few cans down So I walk like Winston Trust me I wake up hanging You think that I'm leaving this bed you're kidding I'm sitting on back in the pad Get deep fried and I smoke some packs of the grass Put the feet up, kick back and relaxing your best No I'm sticking on right at least We'll do a little product chat here So the powerful ingredients come from nature Evan that's where you want your powerful ingredients to come from. Where do they get their caffeine from? I would say maybe unroasted beans. From green coffee, mate. Good old green coffee. Even better. Uh, they've got lithium, vitamin C, electrolytes. I'm just going to get right in here. Give me a... I've tried it. You can... It's no like a mad sugary drink. It's like a tea... Oh, brother. That's delightful, mate. It's tensing. Tenzing is f incredible, mate. Pineapple and passion fruit. Do you know what it actually tastes like a bit? And a little sip here. Oh, brother. It actually tastes like... You want to try it, Joe? You got one? Get it fucking, didn't you? Do you know what it tastes like, bro? Did you ever used to freeze Capri Suns? <laughs> you used to bash freeze Capri Suns, didn't you? <laughs> see when did you See when you were younger or that? Did you ever, like, suck all the juice with it? Uh, that's the best bit. Because, like, the ice starts no tasting it and then all the juice melts to the bottom. But see that juice at the bottom? It kind of tastes like that. You're actually bang on with that, mate. A wee bit, but caffeinated and a bit Aye. Uh, bubbly in that. Mm -hmm. If you bubbled that shit up, I'd drink it all day. But, I, you know, I love fighting for the flavour. There's nothing better. See, especially, see if you've, if you've had a fucking... Couple of bats. For a couple of bats, didn't you? Bit of hash. Something that's, like, pure overly sweet. Like... You know I love my blue juices, mate. My sun kissed and that. Fucking hell. Fucking rookie ever in here, man, in the Kelly Bar. <laughs> Welcome to the ever. Kelly Bar, by the way. First time the YouTube seen the Kelly Bar. Oh, I, is it really? I reckon, aye. Oh. oh. Hello, and we're all sat up on that, ain't we? Do come in. Hi. Welcome aboard. He's on now in the wee pub that's out my back garden. Temp stood. Temp stood. For now. Mm -hmm. We're, we're close. Get, we're closing in on it, mate. We're like Celtic. Purchasing Adam, <laughs> damn it. Celtic didn't end. We're pursuing it at the Aye, moment. We are. There, there's talks. We're nearing the end of the deal, basically. There, there's talks of a studio. We're getting there. We're pushing forward. Full steam ahead. But for now, Kelly Barr will do. Back on YouTube, mate. <laughs> Kelly Barr would do forever. I feel like this has been a very tumultuous time for the pod. It's been a crazy, crazy journey at this point, mate. Both of us are just, I would say, in turmoil. A turmoil? I would say we're a turmoil, mate. I'll be a flat honest. It's, but is it turmoil that's like... Now when you start watching something, right? I've started watching Breaking Bad with Morgan, right? And now like in, it's like season two, right? And I'm like... See if I didn't know that there was like six seasons of this or if I hadn't seen it before, I'd be like, how the fuck are we going to get back for this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that the type of turmoil we're in? It's like, we know, but it'll be sound. I think we're in like, say there's six seasons. I think we're... Midway through season five, where you can start to see unraveling how they're gonna get out. how they're gonna get out. how we're gonna get out. I think no, there's much more seasons. We're not finishing next year, are we? Six seasons, mate. Six seasons is the pre like. I don't know. Six seasons is lovely, bro. Aye. That's like. Mwah. Well, I feel like we're maybe season going into season two. I think so, I think that's a season two, mate. I mean, in the journey to get into the studio. Oh, I'm talking about, I, I thought you were meaning we were like one season to go before the pod was done. Are you talking about our forever journey? Our life journey. <laughs> Together. <laughs> we're, we're nearing it, mate, but it has been a tumultuous time, but luckily the Kelly Bar's here, bro. Uh -huh. What do we do without the Kelly Bar? It's dug us out a few holes. I can almost, every time I come in here, I can almost fucking taste the cocaine in my nostrils brother and I'm not <laughs> joking mate the amount of times I've been sitting in here pure you're actually good at that Joe <laughs> action doing karaoke and that Joe singing uh, mate Joe sings a mean big iron on his hip mate he really does the big iron on his hip that's <laughs> nice so mate. Good, mate early one morning it's, he's good at the old the old cowboy tunes mate I believe which is. I appreciate I can see it. Saturday night in Kelly Bar and you're singing a bit of big iron on your hip, mate. There's nothing more. <laughs> that's, that's how this family operates. <laughs> now we're talking, mate. That's how we do things in here, mate. I love it here, mate. I, there's nowhere I'd rather be. No it was bit. actually quite good. Apologies, that was that Gen, <laughs> Gen Zing coming back on me. Um, that was that Gen Z fucking make me rest <laughs> there. 
Um, all this shit is new. All this stuff in the war. Oh, those things in the war. This is all brand new stuff. Ed Hardy. Aye, Ed Hardy. <laughs> Uh, lock back. <laughs> no, I don't know what all that bullshit is. No, my dad actually does. Franny love. He loves going into a restaurant, right, or like something, and being like, "Can I buy that?" That is alpha as <laughs> fuck, mate. <laughs> it's an, that is it's alpha. Your arrogantly. It's obnoxious, mate. It's obnoxious as fuck, mate. It's like, like a mad slave, like, like a mad old slave mate, owner. Mate, that, see that, see that belt thing there? That's for a mad wee tiny Chinese restaurant in Ayrshire. That wooden thing? Aye, the thing looks like cowboys, like stirrups <laughs> or something. It's no on camera, but that was just at a sweet, like, Chinese restaurant, mate. And much, I was much 40 quid. <laughs> 40 quid. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. It just goes, I've ah, got that for that place. I've never been weighing when he's done it. Do you think he likes being able to be like that? Took that for it. Like, I'm a war hero. That a, I've, I've got this mad Vietnamese guy's head. Are <laughs> <laughs> you coming back with like, uh, like uh, trophies? That's what you cry at, isn't it? Franny is a trophy hunter. He is a trophy hunter, but I think it's maybe more like, it, because he could be in the mad pussy side of it, of like collecting memories. Because mm, he is a bit, he can be a pussy or something. Can he? Ah, mate, well, what is he like? What's he like with a couple of red wines in him? Does he get emotional? Oh, no, my, <laughs> my dad gets emotional when we have red wine in him. Red wine's a good, like, I fucking love you. I, I get texts at, like, I'll be sitting and I'll get a text at, like, 12.47 and it'll be like, love you, son. Oh, that's it. That's I was nice. fucking dating for that, mate. You need steal some stuff at <laughs> Chinese I, restaurants. My, my dad just nods when I say I love you. Not. But I, no, I think so funny, right? It's like, because I love my dad. You know I love my dad. My dad loves me, obviously, right? But see if I'm like talking to my man Dan, I'm like going away, right? I'll go like, right, love you, mum. See you later. Like, see you later, dad. Like, I feel, but sometimes I'll be like, love you. And then when I'm walking away, I'm like, I feel like. Oh, my dad in here, what? <laughs> <laughs> like some pure gay as fuck. <laughs> what, oh. Imagine you get mad like, what the fuck was that all about? What was that all about saying you love us, not? <laughs> <laughs> love us, fuck me. Fuck me, I'm not going to fuck me. Fucking boo. <laughs> no care, I'm about the like father or something. Uh, but the thing is, like, what you're saying is, is right in a sense because let's see if I'm leaving somewhere to go like go somewhere like I'll give my mom a hug or something you mm-hmm. know what I mean but my dad will be like see you later aye cheers oh, for that I nod I'll aye. see you later mate sometimes we like I feel like that way sometimes I'm like because I'm quite a huggy guy I'm a very huggy guy and like Morgan's family well I don't know maybe we'll talk about family people Morgan knows that they'll know that some of them are that huggy mm. and like even like <laughs> like her dad like, I'll be like Right, I'll be like, and he'll be like, oh, and I'll be like, right, because I'll go, I'll go in for the kiss, know what I mean? Aye. I'm going in for the double, like, mate, you're French. It's nothing like, I mate, it's, I'm just a, a culture. I'm a cultured guy, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be fucking walking away shaking horns, not it can know. get, it can get, <laughs> it can get edgy when you meet people that don't like a hug, you know what Aye. I mean? Oh, like, that kind of scares me a bit. See, like, the pure, when you're meeting some, like, that, that. A wee on terms that I should give them a hug. Because what else you got to do? Walk up, like, walk right up to her face, but all right. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, like, what, what? Well, like, when you first see them, you? Like, like, even pals, like, even like when you go and see your pals and it's like walking towards them and just no knowing if it's got to be like a chatting bro uh, or whatever. You like, chatting bro, or like, how you doing, mate? All right. <laughs> like, fucking you know, dude, bro, right? My, but I, I might just go and start two stepping that. Right, how you doing, <laughs> mate? How you fucking <laughs> doing, bro? I'm <laughs> fucking on a ten zing in that, mate. I'm flying on a ten zing, bro. I can, I can. Imagine, imagine going something up here. Try that ten zing, bro. That's, <laughs> like, that's a new pink, mate. I'm actually, uh, mate, the pink's running wild, by the way. Is the pink back? I was actually talking to a guy the other day. I'm not going to fucking get yeah, any details on this dude but I was talking to a guy the other day and he's like I was right bad for the pink mate and I started I burst out laughing like that sounds like you've been taking bulb mate I'm <laughs> right bad for right it. bad for that pink <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm right bad for the new bulby in my ass. can he it's stop terrible it? I can't have it but that also like sound good for you take it bulb in the ass. a man, manlier man than me uh, I taking a fucking bulb in the ass. Couldn't he take it? I, I'll fucking get scared if I'm white mars and I kind of feel a digit s- t- t- tickle up there, oh, brother. Oh, I let the paper breaks or something. Tense mars. Oh, fuck's sake, man. Go to crack it and that. Aye. Uh, <laughs> like who done it. What the fuck was that? Fucking right. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. I know fellas that are like that, mate. Well, I don't know them the new, but I know this type of folk that's like, nigga shit, mate. 
Like, Zero. Like, we'll prevent it for every angle at all costs, at all times. Mm -hmm. it's nev there's never a time when it's just like, oh, how are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, say, say me and you are sitting last, just, well, you know I'm not going to fucking try and have sex with you then. I, I don't think so. I'm no. I swear I'm no. But there's some it. fellas that would be like that. Joe, mate, Joe's like that. Ah, he is very Joe's like, very like sturdy. Like, it's like, Joe, Joe is the type of guy that on a first date we've got him shake their horn. Aye, hundred percent. How you doing? How you doing? Aye, <laughs> sound uh, <laughs> pictures. Pictures, then is it? Mate, when's the last time you went to pictures, mate? I went to see a movie in the IMAX. It was a forty-five minute documentary about flying dinosaurs. That's, That's the last thing I seen. Incredible. I remember you told me briefly about that. Do you remember more about it? The, but the science center, like, so now when you're younger, science center's fucking dying. Like, you're like, yes, man. And even now the shit in it would interest you. But uh -huh. why you don't realise when you go, it's just wains that smell like quavers, mate. Aye. And that's all it, it like, run. I know it's hilarious, right? Remember, so see how when you're younger and you go to the science center and that? Because I was walking through it with Megan. Because we booked the IMAX and then I was like, we'll just wander through the science centre for a bit first and then go through. And then um, we're walking through and it was like, like a Wayne walking about a wee wee's maw and he's in pure floods of tears and all that. And I was like, how funny is it that like going to the science centre can be a pure, like oh. crazy oh. experience for you? Not pure, like a mad life altering. Aye. Like, I was in the science centre and boy, a big boy came out <laughs> <laughs> I can feel shape your future. It's so dramatic, isn't it, man? Aye. I'm like, I'm going to be brutal and I'm going to win the scale. Just be like, mate, we talk about it. It's fine. You know what I mean? Aye. You're I, all right. I think um, I've been thinking about being a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sound, mate. I've been thinking about being a daddy, mate. And um, just no in terms that I want it to happen soon, but I'm like, what would I be like, mate? No, because I'd be a great dad. Oh, thanks, You'd be an excellent dad. But up to, up to about two years ago, nah, I would maybe say a year, that's unfair. Um, a year ago, I was like that. Mammy, my, my wing will never eat like McDonald's in it. Like, as if it was a pure, <laughs> like I was grow like farming chickens or something. I'm like, they need to be eating the best. Like, Aye, the best but then I, real I realized I was like, you can't do that to your weight, like pure. No, you like mad project and Bappy shit. Like, you know, you'll be out fucking running every day. Aye, aye, aye. I'm got, I'm, I'm hanging about it, mate. I'm considering that. Are you hanging about like project I and might Bappy? start like, I've been reading about, I just read, no, no, I've been reading about it pure extensively, but I was reading all day about mad Khabib's da. Mm -hmm. What's he called? Abigov Nugurmanedov or whatever. Abdul Manov Puff or something. Something, like, like, something mad, but I was reading about him, mate, and his dynasty that he's made, mate. That's <laughs> a fucking madness, bro. It was the young boy who's the young one who's. The Uma that Aye, just fought. Mate, that cunt's a killer, mate. Because that, Cody Sandhagen's fucking class, mate. Aye. And he, I watched that and it was fucking, he's good, mate. Because it's like. Was that the one that was at five? It was like in Manchester, but it was like three. No, no it was it was the 3rd of August. It, it was in there, but it was in Abu Dhabi. So it was just like 10 p.m. Decent. Mm -hmm. Aye, that one in Manchester was nuts, bro. <laughs> Try to stay up for it. And then, like, I wasn't even trying to stay up for it. I was, like, fucking about that. And then, like, Morgan was in bed. And I was, like, I said, like, game was on or whatever. Went out the same night. And I was, like, fuck it, I'll watch it. I was, like, say, like, Chelsea and we scudded them, mate. At half 12 at night. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, up watching it. Like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I know. I remember sitting out like, right, Megan, share the cup, like, She was, like, what? <laughs> like, 12 at night. <laughs> I, I remember saying that to Morgan. Like, I was, like... I said a couple in the UFC zone, so I might stay up for, like, I'll try and stay up for it. And then I realised that like, I remembered I had a wee can of Red Bull in my bag and that. I was like, oh, yes, mate. I, oh, one o'clock, scudded uh, it and that. And then the man I, I didn't man. even make it to the fucking main card. Mate, it's hard, man. It's even like half even with the RBs, mate, it's fucking difficult. But, mate, no, I was thinking I had this thought. See, when Selic beat... Chelsea. But, but they beat Man City. Mm. I was thinking how gay like every football fan gets when Pep compliments your team. Aye. Like, he's pure, oh, they play good football. They're a very good team. You're like... Oh what us? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the pure hell face bird in the world or something. That, that's AI, isn't it? That, no. that must be. That's got to be AI. Is that your pep? It's, it's actual weird. fucking pep. <laughs> it is. It's like, that's what it is. He is like the hottest bird in the world in football terms. And then he's, it's the hottest bird in the world going, oh, you're, you're a good looking boy. Aye. Well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much for that. Wait, will you shut up? Especially because he's like a mad alien tactician. Aye. Like people invents new fucking ways to play and all that. Aye. And then he's saying Brodge Ball's on point. Mate, Brodge Ball, do you remember the video I sent? Well, we, we've spoke about it, I think, a, a couple of times, and it was like flamenco. Aye, and it's how they don't have a 
formation they just play in wee circles Aye, well it's not even circles it's like straight lines like they play like they'll go like a big say like, let's just say it in like Selic terms right it'll be like McGregor will miss out O'Reilly in that pass it straight to Kyogo he'll knock it back to O'Reilly and then O'Reilly will chip it out of the top that's like a classic thing that they would do but then that's broad ball mate but then it also like it takes into account like mad individual like freedom shit like to Aye. be them like we've met O'Reilly Brington like that no? Pe- Pep's Ooh. made football a mad mass equation hadn't he well that was like that I seen a video and it was like a Portuguese guy and it was a compa- comparison between Flamenco and Celtic again when it was Celtic Chelsea and I'm like well, Bro- did- Broad just seen the video <laughs> Broad just been on YouTube all night watching that Flamenco <laughs> mate Broad and I fucking grammar prop mate up all night <laughs> studying that imagine all the notes and all that pure oil the desk are you tired and done in that <laughs> fuck uh, Anton get out <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to see that yes, Anton <laughs> that's how he like that's his creative process ah, he just gets full of gear could be mate it could be like uh, Hunter S. Thompson or something that's like us mind we were in my flat pure full of gear pure next merch trap mate <laughs> listen to this idea that we were going to do for the merch <laughs> I don't even remember right, it listen to this we were like pure full of gear sitting on my couch pure Right, mate, next melt drop, we should actually do mate. Like, not be fucking cool, mate. Like, <laughs> fucking, we should ha- draw a picture that represents an emotion. And it was like, like, energizing. And we'll go to, like, draw aye, a picture aye, that. Do you remember that? It was meant to be at, at see, it was I'm like, gonna, laugh, laugh, joy. I'm and it was I bet it would, I'm going to back it up. It would have been cool. It probably would have been It cool. would have been nice if we did, like, joy and it was like a mad. Nuts looking cunt, uh, like nuts looking wee characters. And the ad, I'm standing, but I'm going to get on the computer tonight, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start drawing, mate, get some joy tees on the go. N- mate, now we're talking about UFC, a man who will na- remain unnamed for le- legal reasons, a friend of mine, you can maybe try and guess who it is that I'm talking about, went down to the Manchester car, brother. Quarter a prop in with him. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Snuck down to the front row, was, get, was in videos with Volkanovski and all that. <laughs> what the fuck was it at the front at the barrier like Vol- Volkanovski was like walking out today like commentary or something like like the like the presenters for ESPN uh, yeah, or yeah, something yeah. he was like walking d- out, out the mad bit the f- fighters come out and like he's hanging out on the edge pure yeah it's like pure like, job pure, yeah and he got it, got it on the video mate out his banger but Oof. the funniest part of that is he went to another one so he went to UFC London. See when uh, I think Leon Edwards beat Usman. Aye, so he, he's aye, fought him aye. twice. The second fight, yep. he like actually convincingly beat him. Beat him. Um, he went down to that, and he tried to take gear in with him. I think he had like a quarter of gear in his boss. Usual. Tried to, <laughs> tried to go in, and it was like the bit he had like O2 access. So there bit to get in was like no at the main bit it was like they could walk around a mad corner and go in and they were like walking towards it and they seen like there was no no sniffer dogs nobody really checking it and they're like jackpot go to walk up they're the first person that gets the sniffer dog like they went in quite early and they just brought the sniffer dog out and he's first in the queue to get done and uh, the dog's fucking jump up and all that fucking try to, <laughs> try to lick his balls and that <laughs> so like the dog's gone mental on him and he's like fuck man I've got a quarter of fucking drop down my balls are polis everywhere and that <laughs> Andy's not going to get into the UFC so they pull him around the corner and uh, they're like right if you get in on you that uh, you shouldn't have and he's like eh, no he's like in fact I've got I've got this weed pen he's like a weed vape and he's like that I'll be honest that's all I've got like and they're like He's like, right, I've got away with it, I've got away with it, it's fine. She's like that to him. Right, is there anything else? Because we will be checking. And he's like, oh no. He's like, no, there's nothing else. And she's like, you can gaze ge- at the new, or if, if you give me at the new, it will get binned. Aye. And nothing will happen, and you can go into the UFC. Or we can try and find something, and if you find it, we need to inform the police, and they'll take it for there. Bro, fucking wiped it off and was like, nah, no, get it. No, <laughs> that's and, nuts. And they go in. I obviously, because nobody does that. N- the bot, the nobody's bottle. get the balls, mate. Me, I smoked. See, when I went to uh, Nice there, mm-hmm. I, I blasted a bit of the pen before I went into the airport. Right. 
and I didn't even own me and through security, I was going, ah, I'll just, uh, I'll just say uh, I smoked a joint for a goat here now. Like, it's a pure thing. Like, I've sniffer dogs, I'll just say, look, mate, I smoke weed and it's probably on my clothes and that. And that's just it. mate. Right? I smoke so, weed and I'm going to need snow. Right? Yeah, nice people, people used to say to me, people used to say to me, like, I'm not going to say this because I don't want to get caught out, but people used to say to me, like, I'm not going to say this because I don't want to get caught out, but people used to say to me, like, I'm not going to say this because I don't want to get caught out, but people used to say to me, like, I'm not going Obviously, it's all these mad young guys working there. Pure drug test. It was a pure like chat in there. Pure, I heard all doing the front day and drug test today, and you'd be like, what? <laughs> but I, I stopped smoking it like when I started there, just because you have to pass a, a medical on that when you mm. go in, you need to go in the town pushing a mad bottle and all that. Oh, yeah, and um, so I stopped it and I started again and pay, uh, smoking it with my pal Pagey, and he's like, that is here. If they say it in the drug test, you can obviously just say you were in the dam. And I'm like, you can't he just fucking say that? You can't he say that? Because that's no way. Brother, we were actually just talking about this and what the other day. My, my boss, I'm not going to name him for legal reasons or whatever. I don't know. But he knows. He was like, ah, you must be the only guy. This is years ago, by the way. He's like, you must be the only guy in the world to get. He's he seen a mad file thing, a mad email, like something. And he was like, the only guy in the world to get drug testing still let on the site. And I was like, oh, I forgot all about that, mate. I went on a mad site when I was just back for a stag do. And I was like, I'll have everything. I was like, oh, it will come up. <laughs> they were like, what? Like, what were you? And I was like, smoking and that. And like, why? Well, everything will come up. And like, I think coke and fucking like weed came up on the wee hinge. She was like, there was other cunts in. And another boy filled it. And he was like, man, I'm fucking smoking wood now. <laughs> <And a> scaffolder. <laughs> I was like, fuck this man, I'm away now. And then like, I was talking away to them that. I was like, I'll, I'll just be, I was like, I'll get, I'll be on site. And I'll be half. I was like, was that a stag do? can't do me for that, know what I mean? Brother, stag do rules. Stag do rules. It's in the country. I was in another country. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so I was like, obviously, I, and then they were like, right, they're they our one. It failed again. And then she was like, they one mayor, and then just hold it up and go, oh, look, past that time. And I'll let you in and don't tell any cunt, even if it did name that. And I like opened it and I was like, cocaine, marijuana. And I was like, oh, past it that time, is that all right then? I, because she was like, just say that it must have been a mistake, Nat, because it was in another room. I was like, I'll be honest, I was at a fucking stag. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, mate, so I got through, no bother, boom. That was the biggest fear of mine. I used to pure... I think it would be much different on, like, at the, on a railway Aye, or a like mad pure, institution. Because it's not even there, it's like a mad hell thing that Boopa come in with a fucking... <laughs> they fuck it, a camera that you need to put in your cock. Like. Aye, they rip your fucking... Mate, people buy heart. fake cocks and that. What? And put fit, like, so... People, there's mad kits on the internet that you can buy like a mad fake dick, strap it to yourself. <laughs> now, <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> now I'm listening. Now it's a party. <laughs> <laughs> but you can buy like a mad cock you strap on yourself and it's like you can fill it up with fake piss. So like you go in the toilet and squeeze it and fake piss comes in. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, there's a, that just reminds me of there's a Rick and Morty episode. I know I fucking talk about Rick and Morty. I'm a mad, one of these mad geeks or that, right? But I like it. But there's one of them, right? And, uh, Morty ends up like the the king of the sun, that like he owns the sun and that. And it's all like old, like merry knights of the sun and all that, or that kind of Aye. shit, but it's inside the sun. And then like their mad traditions to like cut their dick off and it's like that, so you need to do it. And it goes into like a big fiery lava hanging in that. And then they're like, he's like, right, I'll do it. But then he, but then Rick makes him like mad fail safe. So it's like this old, like it's like nanobots now or whatever, Aye. right? And then it's like, so like, <laughs> Uh, first you need to step into this machine that detects if you've got like a blah 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 penis and he's like ah, that's fine because it can like it can get away with that <laughs> goes into a mad other machine and he's like is that another machine I see there and there's like a there's like a big tarp over this thing and it's like ah you'll see it after you get through the next one but like, it's <laughs> like and then it's like the, oh, the first one it's a mad witch and she's got like bones in her horn and she's like yeah it's a fake penis I can see it in the bones <laughs> <laughs> it's like the mad witchcraft technique uh, could have that on a, like a Robertson's home sites or whatever ah uh, you could have a witch surely there's witches there's witches out. in the back like see when you go in like for a toolbox talk and that talk <laughs> Matt, you sometimes you see like green smoke and that coming out uh, and you're like is that where the witch sites in Imagine witches, detect. now you get like scaffolders plumbers and that imagine uh, it's like aye the witches are coming on job and like <laughs> watch watch them by the way watch our tools and that boys like how class would that be mind I told you about like Zoot Zootopia Aye, and aye. it was like the animals had like jobs in that. Aye. Imagine it was just like mythical creatures, like just a few of them that worked. You know what I mean? Like witches come in and like can clean windies with their wands. You know what I mean? <laughs> aye, witches are coming up to Daddy Girls. Mad trampy witches getting out of vans. <laughs> Stay in. <laughs> Get the broom, fuck's sake, man! Can't be arsed. <laughs> <laughs> 
what, what other method, wage, what mythical creatures could they turn they they are a job of work? What other mythical <laughs> mate you could look use the Loch Ness monster as a cherry picker. Loch Ness monster would be a mean <laughs> make a mean cherry picker, bro. Right, a Nessie. Crane? Right, old lush. <laughs> <laughs> Take him up. <laughs> no, Nessie's Nessie's like Nessie doesn't get fucked with, mate. You can fuck with all the other mythical creatures and it doesn't get fucked with. Bro, I watched a documentary about, it was like Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix and it was um, about Bigfoot. But yep. it, so Bigfoot to me is like a pure big idiot, mate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't say it to him, but big idiot. Big bro. dumbass. Just like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> no, I can't refer. Well, what about back in the week? No, I mean, absolute idiot, a guy. But when, when, they, uh, when they made this documentary, <laughs> Mate, I was watching it in Seville with Mega or just like but and back came back for the night and just stuck Netflix on and the Airbnb aye. and all like, I watched this and it was like unsolved mysteries, Bigfoot, and I'm like fucking Bigfoot. Bro, no joke. Like see the way you like they were drawing they, they were drawing them with like pencil or, like, and making it animated and I swear, bro, I was like it made me scared. I was just scared, bro. Scared like Bigfoot? it made me scared. I was like cause they, they were saying like you can turn up anywhere on that. I was like <laughs> I could hear. I was like, well, Bigfoot spotted in Seville. <laughs> Imagine on the news. <laughs> Fuck. He's held. You know, by the cafe <laughs> inside Jules. It's gotten mad. And he's here. I keep forgetting what this is called. Tenzing. Don't forget the name, mate. We'll try to get, can we get a sponsorship? I think they're British. Oh, are they really? Great British company. Get involved. A good, a good Scottish podcast. Hang with me. Yeah, but... Speaking of mythical creatures, do you want to hear about the the history of gypsies? <laughs> Not that mythical, but the merch is back. It was gone, and now it's back. We've made it the better, sexy, hot, voluptuous t-shirts for hot singles and couples. Um, cheaper, well, te- inflation and that it is more money, but you can wear it. And you could shower, dry yourself after a shower bit. You could roll up into a wee ball and kick about with all your mates. There was no slaves or anything involved making any of the clothes. Just joking. <laughs> uh, go to rileyscaff.com slash shop and you can buy it. Tell me about gypsies, bro. I'll tell you all about the gypsies, mate. So, that's a nom- they're a nomadic people. You know what I mean? Oh, I know that. They didn't they have, like, see when they were about originally? This is during the Byzantine Empire, which was, like, after the fucking... I think it was after the Roman Empire, wasn't it? And then, like, I think it went right... No, I don't know. I'm confused about this. It doesn't really matter when it was, but when gypsies first came about, the Byzantine Empire was fighting with the Turks, and the Turks were fighting with, like, other parts of the Middle East and that. And then there was these mad nomadic people that turned up, and they didn't, they couldn't, like, write the smoke, they spoke a mad funny language and that, and it was just, like, they were just out in these mad <laughs> shelves of places, just out and about, cut, cutting about. They were under the Turks, they were, like, right, come and fight with us then, because they were quite, some of them were about it and that, they were like, right, you can come and fight with us then. So they went away to fight with the Turks, but see, as they like went and they were like fighting, and taking over places and that, they were like pe- uh, peeling off for the Turks and for the army and that, and got to these other places where like they didn't know who they were. The gy- gypsies didn't know where they came from. They were like, they were about all this shit. You know what I mean, what have you did? I don't know about all this shit, right? And then see, because where they had ended up, it was parts that was a wee bit more fair skinned, Caucasian, probably. Probably west of the Caucasus Mountains, mm-hmm. I would say. Aye. Um, so they were like, these people like look different. No, like, mind them had Egyptians. They, like, they look like they had Egyptians, mind, that came round here and that. And they were like, aye, yeah, you must be for Egypt. Like, you are Egyptian. So that's where it comes from, the word gypsy. No way, comes bro. Comes for Egypt. That's crazy. How wild that is. That's mate? a good fact, mate. It's I a like fucking magic, isn't it? Wow. And that's they, proper gypsy. They ended up, mate, they ended up like well worse than slave like see like slavery as we know it modern slavery kind of thing the gypsies got it bad mate 
like really really bad they were pure great workers but then they ended up getting tied into these it was the Habsburgs and that have you heard of that kind mm-hmm. of stuff there was a war I've got notes on it here right but um, <clears throat> certain people the, the Turks and the Byzantine Empire were fighting um, and they were fighting against the Habsburgs it was the war of the Habsburgs which I think is like a germ, old old German kind of place Oh, so that's a place, Habsburg. I, I think so. Right. I've, I've heard that a good few times, but they were, uh, <laughs> but they, but they ended up getting tied into these deals with these people. That it was like, see if you were on their land. So they were more used to being after beating track. So they, they were like, you can be on my land if you work it. So they were, they were, they would work the land. They all the like they everything and they were dead good at it because they knew they were outside all the time. So it was like, see if you were like, why like just, uh, sow these seeds or whatever on that, and it was like they were just dead, nay bother on that. But then a mad weird thing happened in their in their like laws of this place that was like, if you bought a bit of land, you owned the gypsies. <laughs> so they came where? Aye, it was like I, it's like so buying something on Amazon. You're like, today batteries come where that? And it's, it's like, like, and then you look and it's like comes with a pack of batteries and an extra control oh, on that. Fuck, I get that. That's what <laughs> having a gy- gypsies on your land was like because they made pure. That's a gold mine. They brother. made dough, mate. But then that's how like into the modern day it's like no ma- like nomadic. See the way you see like here travelers you see here, and it's like. Oh, and I was like, caravans, a wee community. And it's like, was up and that. It's like, fuck, like, we are day and hour and shit. Mate, I love that, That's by the way. Best like, ever. See, see the fact that, like, travels will turn up somewhere and be like, ah, nah, so it's good here. Go Aye. in. And then, like, people come be like, ah, you just can't be here. Aye. And they're like, ah, fuck off. Well, this they is, stand on business, mate. They, sta- mate, they stand on business, man. The, the, the Romanis, mate. That's what the Romanos, I think it is. Romani, I Romani or Ro- Gypsy or Romanas as well. Aye. That's what I think that's a mere PC term for it. But the scene of documentary I was watching it, it kept saying the word gypsy, so I think that's all right. I think people will be all right. Will you use all right with that? Is that oh, all right? We won't tell anybody if you want. Shh. But anyway, <laughs> not actual tell, share it and that. <laughs> no, that's because it comes from Egypt, mate. So, and, and it was funny how, like, no funny, but like that people, like, they didn't have anything written down in that. So they were just like, aye, pro- probably Egypt then, aye. <laughs> like probably I'll take it so they started saying to people I can feel fucking that, that bit of bit see Egypt aye that's what we are okay <laughs> I think so aye and it's just like I, I wish I had it. I wish I had more notes now mate as you know fall asleep listening to stuff bits come nuggets, bits go it's nuggets of knowledge it's little nuggets some might be through parts <laughs> of stories mate there might be like a few years mixed up mm. names letters jumbled up but if you care about that you're a gimp. It was Harpsburg a good spell. Could be a guy. Harpsburg <laughs> could be one dude, mate. I even fought everybody. <laughs> it was really mad good. Harpsburg, Imagine mate. it was, mate. Wait, mad heart spells coming, dude. Mad Donovan Kelly. Mate. Oh, <laughs> Donovan, Donovan Kelly's army. Donovan Kelly's army would fight to the death, <laughs> mate. I, 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 while we're on the topic of proper gypsies, Dale. Proper gypsy. We need to address the man, Lisa. Like, Owen Sandy. Owen Sandy. <laughs> putting the fit down, turning the burners on. I go to Perth. He's gone. Enough is enough. He's had it. I think he's had it with maybe us. Mm. He's had it with Kaz. Yep. He's had it. He wants people to rap it. Stop making videos about me. Aye. But I think the... Because, I mean, hundreds of people have made videos about Lee and Slag Lee or whatever. And, but the thing that I think's fucked Lee up is the video of Adam Locke in the tune shouting, yeah, check you not. Yeah, fucking check you not. Oh, it's not even a fucking pause. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Fucking. Fucking daft, you silly wee boy. Fuck off. I think he did, I, think, I don't even think he said, I think he texted it on his phone and his notes or something. I don't think he actually said fuck off. No, like, I was, was like, just, I said fuck off, <laughs> technically. <laughs> it's just, it, I mean, I kind of feel bad from that video, but it, I mean. You can't, aye, it's a it, pure conundrum, right? Because we've met Lee. Mm-hmm. And now, see if you've not met Lee. You might think, well, he would fucking smash that. He's fucking smash cars and that because he looks... Aye, beefy. But Lee is a gentle man. He is. He's a gentle giant. He's a gentleman. Yes, he's, he's a, maybe he, not a gentleman. No, he kind of is. He's a, he is a, the definition of a gentleman, though. He, he is a gentleman. He's about everywhere and that. He's a fucking gentleman. 
Yeah, I'm walking gentlemen <laughs> with Disney World suits everywhere. He's been getting into his track. He's not a lot more recently in it. It's not more. Uh, uh, he's been. He's, <laughs> he's like, written a bit in the, in the rover, mate. He's getting into people. He's getting into his lounge well now, mate. He's, he's just. He's out in the M5, mate. But that video, I think, crumbled him because I think now he's like, somebody's going to get hurted. Somebody could get hurted. He went to the. Was that the city council? <laughs> and it was like, that's me spoke to them and there will be no more like. Uh, harassment of Kaz Milligan and that, like or whatever. Like he said, like he spoke to them. The council are, won't go any further with this whole thing. No, I remember he put all this plans into motion mm -hmm. for all this hydro and all that to get cancelled. That he'd obviously done all that. He went straight to the council, so he was coming out meeting all days like that. He's wanting to let bygones be bygones, and I think he's, he's shaped himself. We're gonna do. <laughs> So would that be an all but? Aye. Cunt's coming up to like 50,000 likes here. I can't go and fucking bam. <laughs> Call you a beast not? Aye. Aye, well. I mean, but who, aye, who knows? I've been a very busy man of late. Can you catch me up with? Sutherland, I'll break down all things Sutherland. Thank so I'm you. sitting on a Sunday evening. Su Sutherland report. Dum, 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 dum. dum. Sutherland report. Sitting on a Sunday evening and I just hear almost whispers in the wind, Owen Sandy <laughs> is on his way to Perth. I don't know. I think I've just seen his live. I'm like, right. And you know Lee's up to shit when it's like a picture of his shoes with like black socks on? Like, it's the green screen effect. Aye. Like, he does not want you to see sort of how, how shit's going down. Aye, aye. So that's when you know Lee's up to shit. And uh, people in the comments are like, are you going to Kaz's door? Are you going to Kaz's door? And I'm like, what? And I can hear him pure enough is enough fuck all right and then you can hear like the mad guys whip you i see saying <laughs> but so then i see kaz is live on twitch mm. so i go into kaz's twitch kaz is watching lee's live uh, he's like watching him come into his house and reacting to it what mate that's mad. a stream bro the, this Kaz got unreal numbers and that on it. That's it was, like stream section, it's like a, isn't it? It's like a wrestling storyline. Mate, there was a wrestling storyline about uh, a guy called Brian Pillman got a Stone Cold. No, Stone Cold got a guy called Brian Pillman's house and uh, Brian Pillman had a gun on him and it was like Foley and like him driving to the house and booting the door in. Mate, you're getting that, multimedia in that? Aye, it's like then it's showing you him in the house with the gun that. That was Kaz. Just sitting waiting. Sitting mate. with the Rolex. <laughs> Ready for it. Ready to just clock it so, not. And then what happened? So I'll talk you through this, mate. He's on the way. I'm on Kazzy's Twitch. I don't even have Twitch. I'm like, I need to make Twitch and start writing shit in this. I'm like, right. this is this is my This is your me, you've that's the my, that's Everest. <laughs> that's, that's, your my, peak. that's my personal Everest. Did you just drag I can imagine just you seeing this stuff and just drag him everything. Bro, we, I was watching something and I said, turn that off. <laughs> that's shite off the I telly. Was I, was trying to, me, I was trying to get Megan to put it on the telly. The Twitch, I was like, ah, can you? She was like, ah, I'm watching something. <laughs> I was looking for a stream of like, ah, Any cunt got any the, Any cunt got a. <laughs> any cunt got, got a stream of Lee driving to Perth. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying, so I'm like, I, I'm tuned into this, mate, and I'm sitting watching it, and like Megan's trying to talk to him, I'm like, I, uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> and Kaz is like, he's a fucking bam. Mm -hmm. Like, he's like ready, he's like, I'm no, f but I'm watching Kaz, and I'm thinking, so I'll put it to you here, right? See, <laughs> see, you're just chilling in the gaff one day, right? <laughs> and you're like scrolling through TikTok, you see you and Sandy's live. Right. And all the comments are, are you going to Jamie Kelly's house? <laughs> How are you going? <laughs> oh my like, God, it, it is, the live is like, you can hear the, eh, <laughs> it's enough. It's <laughs> I'm like indicating in that. And you're like, oh my Lord. Every motor that went by my feelings. <laughs> so I think that Lee could be in any motor. Mate, Lee could, he's just, I think he like spawns new motors every day. Uh, it's like GTA. Uh, G well, I'm just spawns like this guy. Old Volvo <laughs> Polis. <laughs> Tifa <laughs> Tango edition. Boom, right in front of him. See Lee like, ah, eh, L1, R1. <laughs> he just gets a wee fiesta and he's like, hey, this will do. I'm uh, <laughs> going to see Jimmy Kelly. <laughs> but oh. how, imagine you're sitting in your bed and that. Even like imagine we're on we're doing a live, you're sitting in your and then the, all the live comments come up. Lee is driving to your house, oh Jamie. Oh my fucking god, mate. Would you be terrified? That would feel like have you ever seen like uh, zombie land in that? <laughs> like see like films like any film with zombies in it, that's what I would feel like. I'd like to barricade the doors and that. Because you don't know what's gonna happen. But also I love Lee to bits, mate, but he's no goat. 
I don't know why cunts want to scrap them. We that, were, aye, that's why I think we'll go back to the live stream. In sorry, a minute, aye. But that's why I think I can see why that Adam done that because I think Lee said that ah, he's a beast and fucking like what, Lee, Lee said that because Lee's called about five people beasts. Like pure, I've got evidence and all that. Like I know for a fact they're a beast. It's the truth. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Like pure about Adam. About Adam. Don't even know he's that. like nineteen. He's a beast. Him, <laughs> but. So I can see why Adam yep. done it, but at the same time, mate, it's le- like, what are you, why are you pre- yeah, imagine pressing, even... pressing Lee Sutherland? Like, know, you don't mate. need to do that, but I, I get why you done it, sort of. Aye, of course. Imagine, like, what, 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 would you would you be ready to go for it, Will? Do Diving it. up to the gaff, he's like, all right, I'm already, I'm already, I'm in North Lanarkshire, I'm coming. And he's on his live and it's like, what if, Evan, Evan. What is it, because here's what he done with cars, right? He's driving, right? And people, Lee's up uh, like, can I remember? Uh, so Kaz is watching this. Can I remember exactly where house is at? If I see it, I'll know it. And that, he's like commentating on how he's going to remember the house it is as, as he's getting there. And he's saying, I'm at a petrol station in Broxburn or something. Right. Was, right? Also, another another detail of this is, Kaz is on the ride going, apparently he's with five guys. And you can clearly hear it's only him and one other guy. Mm. But Lee must be like, I've got five guys in the motor. <laughs> so they're coming, five I, guys in the Rover. Five guys are coming, bro, in the Rover. And they're heading. And how do they know? Did So this is the thing. Lee's been to Kaz's house about four, four times or something. Wait, does he just go and sit outside? According to Kaz, he'll just go up and park and just be like... Mate, how does this... How can this come be asked, mate? See, like, just to... A, a small sidetrack of the conversation, mate. I had to ask my fucking dear mother to drive to Toll Cross to pick up a package for me today. And I felt terrible. And it's like 10, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. It's not that bad. Lee well, goes on these big wild drives all the time to day things. It's just like, <laughs> I'm just going up to Perth to sit outside Kazzy's house. Just how could you, could you ever be arsed in that for any reason? It's like, an, what, how far is Perth? Like fe- an hour and fe- 15 like, minutes. I don't know if Lee stays in Kirky or something. Say for Kirky. An hour and 20 minutes. Just to, like, on, like, random days and that. So, I can't think Kaz, he's done that before. So, Kaz is saying on the Twitch, he knows where I live. He knows. I don't know why he's kidding on. He doesn't know where my house is. He knows. He's, apparently, he's done it when it's just been Gigi in the house. That's weird as fuck. But I don't know if Lee would know that going up. Like, how the fuck's he going to know, Kaz? Lee, Lee's, get, Lee's guys everywhere. Uh, Lee, Lee knows, mate. Lee knows f- Kaz's comings and goings. He uh, knows he's a fucking intelligent You can guy. imagine him, like, with the suit on outside his house with a coffee and the wee cup holder thing, pure. Kaz, leave house. <laughs> 10.40 F-O-T-T-Y <laughs> aye, aye. <laughs> but, uh, So he gets there And he's parked up And he's like The live is Lee's shoes Walking about Kazi street Like fucking I'm trying to remember Because it's dark in that This is mate, So this, is it night time On a this Sunday is did about, you say sun, No this is Monday now Right About half twelve at night Right Fucking hell right. So like aye So like Monday morning And were you involved in this I, I was in the motor that There was whispers that you were in, in, on a phone call or not. I, so, I, so I joined the Twitch and I'm like, I don't know what I said. And he's like that, the guy's like that on the live. Evan phoned me. <laughs> but I didn't know if he wanted me to phone him and go off camera and be like, mate, what should I do here? Because he was all, all gone, chat, what do I do? Do I phone the police? Because if I go out here and fight with him, it'll be me that gets done. And then he's got a full year of content to talk about that. And like, mm. so he was like, I don't want to give him what he wants. But I don't want to phone the police either. And I'm like, the police aren't going to fucking come like 10 minutes or something. Know what I mean? So, um, but he was saying to phone him. Then I phoned him and I was on the Twitch with him. But I was just talking to him. I was like, mate, I, I was like, what the fuck are you going to do? You're pissing yourself in that. I, I was laughing at that. Because I was like, fuck that, it's man. It's surreal, mate. It is surreal. I was like, mate, well, I don't know what the fuck you should do. Mate, we were talking last time we were up doing a, a Canby pod we were talking about well like who's the most insane guy you just see standing outside that window and I said Lee Sutherland or Owen that Sandy was, that was Kazzy's reality like he was preparing for that so Owen Sandy life part- like a movie <laughs> <laughs> Lee Sutherland pulling up outside life that. like a movie <laughs> Lee pulling up with five, the five the five man them uh, but he pu- pulled up and then him and uh, Ramey I think his name is are walking about and he's literally walking about the street at like half twelve or something and every person he sees is like, do you know where Kaz Milligan's house is? And they, somebody told them the full address. And then as, so like they get told the address and then you can sense that mad Raymond guy getting pure scared and he's like, maybe just get us a bye, Leah. Like you can hear him trying to be talking about it. What have they even got to do? Why did they drive an hour and a half to Perth? Like why did they not think, well, wait, wait, like, let's game plan this a bit, right? 
get to Perth, then what? <laughs> like, <laughs> get he, in front of the hoods and then what? This, is, this was what Lee's plan apparently was. He was going to drive up to Kazi's, go to his door and just go, enough is enough. That was it. He just got to tell him. He wasn't going up and saying, I'm going to kill him or that. He was just going, this ends now. Because Lee thinks Kaz is that Jacqueline Hill's clips my channel on TikTok. Aye, I've seen this and it's like, and this is little funny. Aye, <laughs> JJ. Aye. It's JJ behind it, JJ, mate. mate. JJ's the mastermind behind all this. JJ's the puppet master. JJ's so, controlling but it But he all. gets there, somebody tells him the address and then he's like, right, okay. And then you're thinking at that point, right. <laughs> right, okay. But you're thinking at that point, any person would be like, if you're really looking for the house, you'd be like, going maps on my phone maybe. Aye. He's like, cheers. And he's like, still looking about houses and that. And then he goes, and then I think he goes, Kaz was like, he heard somebody talking it and he's like, he's in my street, the new. Like, mm-hmm. he's like, I know that person, he's in my street. Mm-hmm. I think somebody came out, out their door to see him and he was like, excuse me, do you know where Kaz Milligan lives? And they're like, oh, nowhere near here, mate, or something. Like, oh, something like, I think so, I. But then I had wee lassie, he was like, I'll tell you. And then I told him it. And then the they're actual... like, can I, get, can I get a selfie? And I'm like, how nuts is it, cunts will just dock somebody to be like, and can I get a selfie? And can I get a picture with you? Hi. Lee Sutherland. <laughs> But then he, he gets the address and then he kind of walks about for another minute and he's like, God, oh, I can't find it. I need to go back home. And then Kaz is like, I'll tell him to come back and he's on his Twitch, phoning him on Instagram and he'd leave just patching it and that. Aye. So he drove up there. We need to actually go to the house they just drove back. But like, I don't get like, mate, because I think he's, can he be that daft, mate? He can he be that daft? Like, it must be he's playing 5D chess. You, I think you're, it is. you're like, you're no thinking. You're thinking like a three dimensional being. He's up there like that. Right. So I'll drive all the way to Perth for fuck all. And then that'll make people think this. But then I'll come back and I'll wear a wig again. Ah, and I'll do something. It's and like the master of illusion. It's all made. Like, have you ever seen like a beautiful mind? No, ah, it's, 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 it's like pure working things out. And that it's, is, above, it's above your comprehension. Everybody says, oh, Lee is. Oh, I cause of the way like he might say something wrong in that, but Lee is like he's potentially saying things wrong so that people mm-hmm. go. He, he's, he's at the top, man. And, and he wants you. Doesn't he want you to have too big expectations? Then he'll hit you with a fucking good. Think about that. Rewind. Rewind. And listen to it again. I think uh, Jinky hates us. Aye, 100%, for sure. Hundred percent. I think he's hated us for day dot. I never liked his for day one. But no, I think it's an actual festered like. Why do these guys talk about me for an hour every week <laughs> on YouTube? Because I, because somebody, somebody was showing him on a live, and he's like, "These two guys are obsessed." And I was like, "Can't really argue that." I mean, so I've, there's no defence for that defence. <laughs> <from them. laughs> Let me tell you, they do. And I wouldn't even say that was a defence. You know, there's no defence for that, folk. It's scandalous. It's scandalous. It's absolutely scandalous. No, it's scandalous, mate. I got fucking crushed in Nice Airport, mate. You get fucked? Wait till I tell you what happened to me, mate. This was devastating. Guys, unfortunately, YouTube absolutely hates us. We don't get monetization on any of our videos. That means we don't get any ad money from anything we upload on YouTube. Please, please give us money. So we rely on people to go and subscribe to our Patreon. People say money doesn't buy happiness. They're fucking liars. They're liars and fucking bastards. Our Patreon, you subscribe, you pay a monthly fee. There's a range of different tiers. Money's everything, mate. Money's like all, all... Money's all we need. Where you get more episodes, early episodes. Klarna debt, credit card debt, Foxy Bingo debt. I bought a speedboat, can I afford that thing? Once you subscribe to the Patreon, you'll start getting bonus episodes. So you'll get things like different perks, you'll get early episodes, you'll get access to the Discord. Where Please, four quid a pop when I'm buying butter. And it allows you to support us to get all our own equipment. That's the reason that we're standing here today with all our own stuff. It's because of people supporting the Patreon. Love pack is out of the question. I'm on North pack at the best of times. So if you feel like giving a bit more and you'll get maybe bonus episodes, early episodes, vlogs, things that you don't see on the YouTube. I think podcasts just grow on trees. All these cameras and that, expensive. Everything is expensive. This is expensive. Then go over to our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. <laughs> nice was incredibly hot, mate. Yes. It was like wave. it was thirty two degrees every day and it was like they're no sort of, it's not like Dubai where it's like you go in a shopping centre and you're like, ah, fresh mm-hmm. air and that it's like 
everywhere's scorching. Roasting. So last day, our flight home's at like 10 at, no, half nine at night. And I was like, mum, we'll go to the airport early. Like, just to get air con. Yeah, like, cool. Just to, like, feel a big building. Wait, did, the, did the hotel not know have air con? So it was an Airbnb, right? But we turned up and they're like, I will go to AC. And we turned up and it was like an air conditioning unit sitting on a table like that. And it was like, you could only face it one way. It was torture, mate. Like, it, it was... <laughs> I know. That's made me so annoyed, man. Imagine being in that. Like, I you're, feel out, so all, bad for you're you, out all day in the sun. You come back <laughs> and you're like. <laughs> that we killed him. <laughs> ah, you're, and then you drink a Tenzing. <laughs> but you come back, there's no relief. So, like, the last day, I'm like, Mum, we'll go to the airport early. So, we, we snuck back into the Airbnb. We were meant to be checked out. Snuck <clears> back in. <throat> got a shower on that. <clears throat> nice. Then went to the airport, mate. Lovely drive. Tesla, big, massive Tesla picked us up to us to the airport. I felt like a king got there and I'm just sitting in the airport on that right and I'm like I'm going to go I'm stretch your legs but I didn't I didn't know that's a pure hanging airport I'm going to start doing that show Bill <laughs> <laughs> smell after shoes I know exactly what they smell like drown a couple of pair of sunnies ah. and see go who even eats that Aye. get a bit of tobler on massive <laughs> tobler imagine you fucking bought that imagine man. you bought that imagine you did <laughs> Good me, mate. What I drink? Kai. Get Kai in. Cairo. Cairo Kelly, come in here. Look, man. Has the pod ever seen Kai? No. Kai. Kai, come here. It's all right, kid. Come here. He does not like all this shit. It looks like he's trapped for an experiment. Oh yes, Kai can sit in the pod, eh? Ah, of course, mate. Right, um, I, I got crushed in Nice, brother. In the airport, I'm like, I'm going to stretch my leg down, walk down that replay shop down there, <laughs> see the bad red shop that's got aye. the pure massive bags of M&M's aye, aye. Go down there and see what's kicking. And uh, I went down, and I'm like, walking back, I'm like, but the thing is, because it was roasting, I did not plan on wearing a select hat, right? Right. But... I had like this t-shirt and that and I had to iron it still and I was roasting. I was like, I'm shoving something on. I don't need iron. I nice just lighting. seen like a Celtic tap sitting. Wo- wore it, right? Walking through the airport and I like go to the toilet. We browse a bit of shops. I'm like, oh, fuck. Get up the road, man. Yeah. Fucking see what's happening and that. And then uh, walk back up and I just hear, like seen three boys walking towards me, man. I was like, ah, hell, hell, brother. <laughs> right? I'm like, ah. See, because when you're in Nice airport, Aye. you're no expecting to hear that. So they're coming towards me he's like, hell, hell, brother. And I've done that. <laughs> Cheers, bro. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> it's money tech or something. Money no. hoops, mate. But this is where it gets worse. This is what makes it worse. As soon as they went by me, they started laughing. And then I heard their real voices. Must have been a Rangers fan or something, bro. He was like, hell, hell, brother. And I'm like, <laughs> Cheers. And Cheers. Uh, I said, Cheers, bro. To hail, hail. What the fuck? And then what it- the fuck could that? All, all I could think about when I walked away was, what could that possibly mean? Cheers, cheers, bro. Hail, hail, I. Cheers, bro. Cheers, mate. <laughs> maybe it's like, maybe it's thanks me- for acknowledging, bro. Maybe it's me like, aye, cheers, mate. Because me imagine aye. what would be worse, right? Well, not what would be worse, but in my head at the at, in my head at the time. I know. I've just realised that, Joanna Moot. Right, I'll give you the option to get out, but stop being weird. Do you want it? No, <laughs> show me camera on that, right? Here. Aye, show me camera. You might get, you might get good with it. That's a, it right there. See if he's a star. He's a belter, ain't he? <laughs> good. Get have up. good stock, that boy. Get him out. Get him out. Mate, do you know he had a mad missus cat? He had a mad wife cat, and she was like the pure better version of him. So like the pure huge ones that are like the height of that table and that. Like Savannah cat, and... He like had two litters with her. He's a dad of like how, nine. How, how did he ride that thing? By the age of two, mate. He was two when I got him and he'd already had two litters. I think the people before him were actual pure horsing him out, mate. He has a stud. Yeah, he's an absolute stud of a cat. Yes, but sorry, um, back to Nice Airport. So these people, so, what was their real voice? I want to know about this real so voice. So this is bit. like how I would explain. They sounded like mad wankers. You know wankers? So, <laughs> I, my poor heart, yeah. So they walked by me. I'm walking down. I'm feeling a million bucks now because I'm like, I'm getting up the road, get bash pen, Aye. like get him, get a McDee's on the way home. I get back oh. at like a, a 1.30 a.m. McDee's when you've barely ate all day. Oh. Come back for the airport. Oh. 
Lights on top. <laughs> Life's good. So I'm walking, I'm actually strutting back down. I'm like, I go see my fucking machine. Man. Fuck you. Go, <laughs> go to these M&Ms. Get these fucking cases checked in that for security and that. And uh, I just hear, hail, hail, brother. And in my head at the time, I'm thinking, I'm not saying hail, hail back. And I know that maybe sounds ridiculous to know, but see in real time, see the thought of me hip going, hail, hail. Aye. That felt That would have worse. been worse. I'm glad you agree, So mate. much worse. That's worse than me going, <laughs> cheers, bro. Especially <laughs> if they done like, <laughs> hail, hail when they walked away. Like see if they mocked you the way you said hail, hail, and then they were like, oh, what a wanker. Mate, it was kind of like that, except they, they just up here. <laughs> and then I heard them people, oh, like, I didn't hear like, what they were saying, they but just, the, the to- octaves. <laughs> the tone changed. I was like, they've actually shattered me You've there been been and I get back and I was pure no no that way right in my head I'm like that I'll no care about it in like a week or something man <laughs> like, I remember sitting pure that'll be one of the things you're pure raging about and then you're like why are you raging about it I remember sitting down with me and pure ah, ah, ah. and then I was like I'm no telling her I just got pure embarrassed there do you know what I mean like I'm no telling her my boys just took a piss up me there I said well, <laughs> group of three boys just pure bullied me up there by the way <laughs> do you want to name I tried on it. What about a sober one? So that would be like uh, that's the most. So did she? Is she making no? But if it, I couldn't hold it, and I was like, by the way, soon I was up. <laughs> so I was like, toilet mud. I did. It's probably by me and said, heel heel, brother. But they banged me up, and she was like fucking assholes and then Lassie's always like the bay's always pure like now when you think like see if you told me that straight away I laughed obviously but then I sympathise and say fuck's in hail hail anyway you're absolutely right but <laughs> like see the bay's mate it's like Morgan will be like fucking arse like don't don't wait they have a bad impression of Morgan <laughs> then. I don't know why she speaks similar to me but it's like Fucking assholes! Like why? Like they 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 just on your side straight I away. I don't take these. Just they, like fuck though. Like they don't fuck with like people taking the piss out of people. Now when it's like that, ah, I, they don't like it, man. I they they like it doesn't fill them with a mad devilish joy. I like, mean, oh. me, I've been trying to like we we'll go back to this because I've got more points I make about the the whole cheers brother thing. <laughs> No, that whole Cheers brother thing that uh, happened in the self The scandal. <laughs> the big, the big scandal. It's only Sky News, isn't it? Cheers brother gate. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I've been saying to Morgan, like, she, she'll say, like, something will happen that's hilarious, but it might be somebody's the butt of a joke or something. She'll be like, that's no nice. She mm-hmm. always, it's straight away, it's just, that's no nice. Don't like that, that's no nice. And I always go, but was it funny? Was it funny, Morgan? We'll know people you should base your morals off. No. We're here for a good time. Aye. Right. Wrong. Well, it's mixed pers- up in your belly lip- anyway. <laughs> I know. saying it's fucking all the same, innit? Well, fuck it. We all shout out the same. <laughs> pitches, so you can only piss me the cock you've got, you know what I mean? Um, but I, so I tell her. Uh-huh. I say, I could Drop feel, it. But I'm not, they are mad fucking dicks, man. But now that way, I was like, trying to be so unbothered because I was like, I'm going to hey, that's fucking mad, bam, that. And then I was like, can't believe I had a fucking cunt done mm. that. So, because I heard the Scotch now, I'm like, they're definitely getting on our flight, 100%. And, uh, this away. is when he starts scheming. And I'm hoping, I'm like, I hope I don't see them again because it'll film. See, if they're just gone, Aye. I'll be like, oh, pff, they're away. They'll be away to Bristol or something. What about sweet old revenge, brother? Oh, I know, I know, but like, that way, I was like, I'm in a fucking airport. Like, where am I going to school? So, I get... It's good one. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a juice or something. So, <laughs> so, I get to go through to... So, get our cases in, go through security, get to the gate, and I'm kind of sitting right, and I was like, see, because we are now in the EU now, you need to go through passport twice. I know. So you go, and then, see, it, no, it's shite, see when you go through security, it's like the good bit, where there's hundreds of food and that, and then see the bit you need to go through it again, there's like one hang there. Aye. It's shite, but, so we, I had to go through that, sit there, we, I got a mad fucking baseball bat, yeah, a baguette, now they've had airport <laughs> yeah, baguettes yeah. that you're like, Aye, you know, like, <laughs> a jambo in it <laughs> all that shit ah, just still, still cheesing it <laughs> Aye, I want to get that then but I'm telling you <laughs> like foreign foods yucky bro Aye, in the airport it's about like how long's that been there mate, mate freezing the, mate I went I've been there plenty of times soon you asked for pepperoni and a pizza they put big daft peppers on the top of it mate Did they? Aye, mate pepperoni's peppers Italian, how stupid's that? Oh fuck off! Every time I got a pizza, fuck off! Yeah, I got a pizza like every day for like four days, and I was like, "What? Oh, they don't know what pepperoni is either." Then <laughs> <laughs> much these big horrible pizzas, cheese and peppers. <laughs> I mean, I know exactly the pieces you mean—the big jam ones 
with the big melons in it and all that. They've always had melons with ham and shit, but I'm starving. I'm like, ah, fuck it, I'll eat it, got a cookie in it. Sitting, I'm pure. Feeling a bit better. Still wondering when will I stop thinking about that incident? Will that leave my mind before I go on this flight? And I was like, no, but as soon as we go, we go to board. I'll be fucking, I'll, yeah, I'm, I'm on the way home. Go to board, mate. There are about four people in front of me in the queue, oh. the three of them. And I knew the one that said it. And no, he was doing, mate. He was, because uh, I'm looking at him going, what can I slag fuck out here about him? Like, I'm pure analysing. I'm pure fucking stupid, man. Gay socks. Like, they stay there. Even that. Like, I'm pure building up that mad thing. And then, a dos. Uh, I, a dos, yeah. I'm <laughs> slagging for this guy. And he was stoning in the queue. Like, this, bear in mind, this is like a half 11 flight's been delayed, not like cunts are just like, I'm shattered trying to go on this plane. He's stuck, him and he's passed on me an AirPod each watching still game best bits. And I was like, oh, because I was like, what if he actually watched it? I was thinking, pure fucking still game, but you're fucking amazing, huh? fucking dick. <laughs> I was like, pure rolling around my head and that. Two hills prick. And then, eh, uh, <laughs> I do hills. <laughs> So he's the Zed. He's the shouty that I know. Fuck! Two hills, prick! <laughs> but in the queue, I'm like, now that way, I'm looking at the cunt, he's pure smiling that, and I'm like, ah, I'm going to fucking say something. Then I'm like, imagine me in the check-in queue, like that. <laughs> ah, you fucking dick. Like, imagine you heard that, like, two strangers, like that. What are you fucking saying back there, then? What were you saying back there? You want to say it again, mate? You're fucking, you're a fucking big well, man. I got a side. I got a side. Then I was thinking, man, I was like rolling about with him at the jail. <laughs> but you would definitely get the jail, scrap him at the jail. Ch- right. You would be the in a mad southern French jail, mate. You would be a terrorist at that, a terrorist at that. No fly list and that. You're <laughs> blacklisted for British Airways. Imagine that. I was on Sky News and that for terrorists. And I was like, I fucking uh, took a piss out of me saying, hell, hell, no. And he doesn't even support Sally. <laughs> you still get it, mate, right? because he's a French jail. No, he, Google Celtic versus Rangers atmosphere. <laughs> And then you actually get it. Giggle feistiest tackles. Aye, old chill. fun. <laughs> uh, Barry Robson and he fucking Christian Daly. And that. Watch that and then imagine he slapped him. What do you do, mate? <laughs> you know, fuck him. Would you know just that box at the airport? I think the absolute best thing you could have done is give him a bottle of juice. There's nothing feel like, like that, you know what I mean? Aye. Just feel like four away, everybody's facing that way. Can I try and keep your... <laughs> There's no way that would go on. Try, try, and keep, <laughs> try and keep your wits about you. Maybe maybe Megan needs to unfurl a towel, say. Aye. Behind you. Disguise. Everyone's facing that. But she's just unfurling a towel. In that exact moment, a shot goes off, mate. Oh, that fucking Sprite. Boom, right oh, off that cunt's mate, nut. How it. sweet would that have been? Oh, bro. I honestly was kind of half hoping the plane and crashed because it... I would have died for him to die. Ah, you would have took him out with you, mate. I would have died for him to die, mate. And the thing is, I'm getting on, I'm like, Bang. I would have died for him to die. Did you want him to die? I would have took death on that plane for him to just like, die. You, the plane's gone down, you're like, oh, fuck, no, you're phoning me, you're going, Jimmy, I fucking love you, bro, right? No, the plane's gone down, I'm fucking sorry, mate. Imagine I can't, I'm imagine fucking I can't, sorry, mate. Imagine I, sto- I hijacked the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, this is oh, LDP, <laughs> this is for the big man, I think it's funny to take picture of people in the airport, right? <laughs> This is for you, mate. Jake, this is funny now. 230 people did, mate. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Haha, this is on you. Blood's in your hands. But you're going down, say it's not your fault and the plane's just going down. You're like, oh, fuck. Your phone and cunts. No, I'm your mom. I love you, man. It's all heavy embarrassing and that. But then you just go, one wee sweet, like, oh, fuck that. Cunts going to die. Right, sound. Fuck it. And that would honestly make it. I'd watch the terror in his face and I'd be like, <laughs> now you know how it feels. You'd get hard, bro. Me sitting hard as fuck <laughs> as the plane's crashing. Just staring at hard on. Staring at this guy for bills then. I'm known for a hard on on a plane, mate. I get hard ons constantly. Like, mate, I'll fall asleep on the plane and wake up with a hard with on. With the hardest bobby I'm I've like, ever oh. <laughs> <laughs> And it's so embarrassing because see if you've got a hard on like, in public or something. Know that that, I don't really, that doesn't really happen to, like, do you ever get like a bad hard on cutting about the tune? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> never once. I would say would that be just randomly getting hard on that? The, the, the public hard ons come for school. Happen in school a lot. School. Aye, That's double, like because you're like a mad wee guy. Double French on a Monday, you're shattered, mate. I'd have fucking, I'd be in the whole lesson like that, mate, just hiding <laughs> my hard on. But I'm. Because so, rubber banding hurts and nobody talks about it. Aye. Rubber banding's not a fix all method it's, it's quite sore something it's a fucking time time old method but it doesn't it's no consistent it's no uh, you can't it's no pro, it's no it's no site proven 
It's no, it's not had enough case studies. <laughs> it's not been pat tested. It's not been pat tested. It's no like, it's not had an audit or that. It's Aye. just, you know what I mean? We just need to, you need to do what you can, mate. mate so you on on this plane, did you? Aye. Were you staring at this? Did we hard on or that? Or was that just when it was going down in our imaginations? I was just imagining, it and then I got on the plane and the like, oh, or um, the pilot comes in and he's like, "I'm really sorry, everyone." I'm like, "Oh fuck, here we go," and he's like. Plane can he take off for fifty minutes? Mm. Need to sit on the plane for fifty minutes. And there's a French bitch I need to tell you, but they're sitting next to me. But I'll tell you in Patreon. We need to switch over, guys. Patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff to see the rest of all the episodes. How long we gone? We could do a good bit, mate. Aye, we're in, we're we're in be, it for we're we're gone. We're in for the long haul, yeah, mate. Uh, aye, if you want to see the end of all the episodes, bonus episodes, everything like that, vlogs. We're going to be vlogging, getting the new studio and that. So if you want to see that shit, head over there. Patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. Cheers. <laughs>